I spent my whole life trolling. I could hear my boat calling. I could feel the waves rocking. But reality came knocking. I dream of salt mist in the morning sun. I couldn't hide, so I had to run. Now I'm serving time. I want to be free But I'm serving time They bring their issues, problems, fights Crack of dawn, noon and night Yelling at me every day Someone make them go away I yearn for salt mist in the morning sun I couldn't hide so I had to run Now I'm serving time Oh sure, you think this is a pretty sight. Well try and see it from my perspective. I'm Ed Sawyer, the sucker whose remains are in that jar. After 20 years of political service to the wacky bunch of characters who inhabit Time Harbor, you'd think that more people would come out to see my ashes cast to the wind. Nice of Bob Gilbert and his kid Tammy to come. I wonder where Jackie is. Don't often see one without the other. If only those two could catch fish like they can catch trouble. Ah, then there's Anna. She's trouble of a different kind. There I go. Bertie's a widow now. I wonder how this will change her life. How long until she finds out? Till they replace me. And Dick finally gets his way. I never thought that death would give me a front row seat. But from where I am now, I get a clear view over those mountains and into tomorrow. And I'm laughing already. I spent my whole life trolling I can hear my boat calling I can feel the waves are rocking But reality come knocking I dream of salt mist in the morning sun I couldn't hide so I had to run Now I'm serving time Can you hear God laughing? on me, untie these knots, I want to be free, but I'm serving time. They bring their issues, problems, fights, crack of dawn, noon and night, yelling at me every day, someone make them go away. I yearn for salt mist in the morning sun. So I had to run, now I'm serving time. Can you hear God laughing? Well, the joke's on me. I'll pay my debts, then I'm gonna be free. Now I'm serving time. Chasing fish, what I dream of when I have money. I'll sail off, someone else can take my place in this crazy crooked race. Where are going out, Jackie? Uh, we're an endangered species, me and you. Maybe we ought to start farming the fish. At least we know where the damn things are. I'd rather be dead than farm fish. Careful what you say. Your spirit guide will think you're serious. Look at Ed. He was a good guy. 
for a politician and a white guy. Too many trans fats. What? Trans fats, that's what killed him. He died of a heart attack. Caused by trans fats. I've seen it a thousand times, stuffing your face full of junk food. It's sad, really. It's a white man's burden. You trying to tell me that you never eat junk food? Never touch the stuff, not since I quit drinking. Gotta keep in shape for the ladies. When's the last time you were seen with a lady? You're just jealous. Since I got back to the old ways, eating natural foods, ladies can't keep their hands off this buckskin. The only women you talk to are the ones working the cash registers at McDonald's. Not true. I talked to the cashiers at Safeway, too. They got lots of natural food there. Yeah, right. They just opened up a new section called Aboriginal Foods. Don't panic. We have Bannock. Well, I sure as hell can't live off of what we catch out here. You stick with me, cuz. I'll introduce some real women, some Indian women. Not these skinny white chicks. The big women make better lovers, Bob. I know you have a passion for large women. We worship the fat women. They saved our culture. <laughs> fat ladies didn't save your culture. When the Haida warriors came down the coast searching for slaves, we used to get the biggest women stand them out on the beach. They'd yell, yeah, and make like they're hot for the warriors. They took one look at the size of them women and turned right around. I thought you said they made the best lovers. They do. But the Haida warrior is a smart guy, a bit lazy too. He knew that if he took one of them women, he'd have to paddle that fat ass all the way back to Haida Kauai. Even the best sex wasn't worth that pain. Relax, Weasel. That's John to you. And don't you have some terrorists to go catch? What are you doing? I'm not legally required to answer that question. Can I buy hey, these? That's an expensive precision piece of equipment, meticulously calibrated. What'd you do, memorize the packaging? <sighs> so, you waiting for fish? I got fish to fry, I can tell you that much. You serving papers on Bob Gilbert? Yeah. What's he done? Just gone and lost his boat to the bank, that's all. Weasel Wallachuk? You have just divulged confidential information to a member of the general public. General public, nothing. You're the federal officer, and my name is John. Well, sorry, John, but I just got off duty. I'm going to have to report you. Yeah, well, if you're off duty, why are you wearing that uniform, and why are you driving that truck, and why are you carrying that gun? They shouldn't let girls carry guns anyway. I ought to report you for impersonating a federal officer. There's a payphone right over there. Running time, running time, running time. Fisheries One calling. Hey, there's a lady calling me right now. Buckskin Warrior, how may I pleasure you? Give me that. Running time, go ahead on 68. Warning, big wildlife on dock. What kind of wildlife? Large weasel, serving papers. What kind of papers? A marriage license? Is weasel finally gonna make an honest woman out of you? No, I'm waiting for you, Buckskin. This is Bob. Thanks for the heads up. Over and out. I think she's got the hots for me. Get serious, Jackie. Things didn't go very well at the bank. That Sonia Branchetti, such a hard ass. She didn't even listen to me. There's no more money. You're three months behind in your loan payments. Your credit cards are maxed. Your line of credit is exhausted. Mean, Bob? It means... I'm calling in the collateral! <laughs> collateral? Your boat, Bob. My boat? This boat? They're gonna take away this boat? Those are the papers that Weasel has. The foreclosure papers. Don't take them. Don't mean nothing if you don't take them. This isn't good. No, it sucks. Jackie, we've been doing this for a long time, you and me. There's been some lean times, low prices, and nasty buyers. But there's always been fish. We just need more time. I tried to tell her it'll turn around. It'll turn around, right? I guess. We need to do like the old timer said, cast the nets on the other side of the boat. Then we'll fill the hold, right? Right. Jesus. He's not gonna help. No, nope. went broke himself. <laughs> he used to have a whole crew of fishermen. They all left him behind in the end. What? You know, the old guy that used to say, cash your net on the other side of the boat? You know, Jesus Samson? 
I think he got a crab license and went up the coast. Shut up, Jackie. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. hey, Anna, bye guys. Tammy, you got the guitar. Yeah, I finally bought the harmony from Swamp. Check it out. What's his problem? He's your dad's problem. He's serving papers. What kind of papers? From the bank. Bummer. I was going to ask him to pay for my lessons. Today may not be the best day, Tim. OK, you got a thousand bucks hidden somewhere? I got a 20. You slap an A license on her, and the bank won't touch it. What, sell your running time for 20 bucks? She becomes a part of the Aboriginal fleet, the bank won't touch it, and I'll pay you exactly what you've been paying me lately, which is nothing. As if that'll keep the bank away. Not from you, but the boat. Not even the boat. Want to bet? What's the bet? How about the boat? You're not getting my boat, Buckskin. Then go borrow the money from the union again. It's a big meeting tonight. All the executives will be there. It'd be a perfect time to ask. I could do that. It's my money anyway. Hey, nice sweater. Well, thanks, but I didn't come to talk about sweaters. I came to see Bob. Stay away from the boat. Sorry about the wildlife. Thanks for the heads up. Hi, Bob. I mean it. Stay away from the boat. Hey, Dad. What's that? Papers. Guitar. I just bought it from Swamp. I need you to pay for my lessons. Come on, Bob. You know how this plays. Back off, Weasel. Play nice, boys. How much? A hundred bucks. Gilbert, take the papers. That's it. OK, easy. Give them to me. No. Bob's got to take the paper so he can go back to his singing lessons. Guitar, get lost. Bob, let's go. Dad! Some other time, Tammy, please. You promise! Look, if things work out at the Union Hall, we'll talk about the guitar. I already got the guitar. I need lessons. We'll talk later. Foiled again, eh, Weasel? I'll get him. Yeah, well, we'll see. Well, come on, Tammy. I'll buy you dinner at the Westerly. It's always the same. No, Bertie's got a new menu. I just got these drawings back from the architect today. They're amazing. Now, the plans are drawn from this point of view, so you can see what the development will look like. Now, compare this with what you see in front of you. Actually, Dick, there's a strange looking guy jumping up and down at the end of the dock. I think yeah, he's Bobby, waving I, at you. I can't talk now. I gotta get Gilbert. Call me. Oh, that's just Weasel. Now, this is the main hotel complex. Luxury condos, executive offices, security section, restaurants, Hold on. nightclub. Hold on. Wait. You're expecting to need a security section? That big? Julio, do you have any idea how much cash this place is going to bring in? We can't have heaps of money laying around unprotected, can we? As the mayor of Time Harbor, I'm proud to say that we have the lowest crime rate in the country. <laughs> what you have, Franco, is the smallest police force on the planet. And you're lucky there's been no serious criminals come to town yet. Are you saying they will once we build this casino complex? What I am saying, Julio, is that this is the casino complex I'm building right here in Time Harbor. Now, I got you the party nomination, and I'm funding your campaign. Your uncle's in, he's on the team. And you, Julio, you're gonna play too, understand? I'm starting to. It's all state-of-the-art surveillance technology. I saw it for myself when Dick took me down to the casino in Reno. And the women, Julio, you would not believe the women that come to these places. You're gonna go crazy when you see them. You've actually managed to buy or option all the land involved. Well, I've got everything I need. Well, except that building Ed used to own. Oh, it must belong to Bertie now. Well, she thinks it does. What does that mean? Uh, oh, nothing. We'll go over there later. Well, check this out. Meeting to order. Hello? Yeah, and then we'll, we'll 
be able to. Is this mic like on? Yeah. Yeah. Would we'll someone check the mic at the front, please? I think they'll go. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's right. We, we need people. It's still the same, I tell you. It's different news since Ed passed on. What you're saying is true. Ed was a gentle. This Julio, he's nothing but a dick man. You mean he's dick's man? That's it exactly. A dick puppet. Yeah, but Cheryl's unopposed again. No one else will run. What are we supposed to do? We've got to find a new candidate. We all know that Dick is out for Dick. And Julio will be his lackey. And if he wins that election, I guarantee you, he'll build that casino and all of it will be non-union. Suppose we all back Cheryl. You've been smoking something, Jerry. She doesn't have a prayer. She's run too many times before. This will be number three, and I won't support her. Oh, no one will support her. Her trouble is, she has no dick. I'm not too sure about that. Look at this idiot. Didn't look like there was anybody behind the wheel. Yeah, that's Tommy from the res. He's only like five foot tall. The power seat's broken. 